Six days after placing a post on phase two of the exhumation exercise within Shakahola Forest, interior CS Kidure Kindiki returned to the crime scene. Because some of those graves are not conspicuous. They had been tampered with, some of them. Others had been concealed by growing vegetation on top of them. We have about uh, close to 10 mass graves. We don't know their contents. But we believe there could be more. Kindiki further giving orders to extend the restriction measures for another 30 days. We will not leave any of our people in that forest dead or alive. We also believe there are more people, more victims who are holed up in that forest. At the Malini District Hospital, phase two of the autopsy exercise kicked off. Government pathologist Johansson Odor later revealing that 15 bodies had been examined during the day. In one of the female bodies, examiners discovered serious head injuries pointing to a possible homicide. It was also established that 10 victims died from starvation, whereas three others were skeletons making it difficult to determine possible causes of their deaths. We do not know what the courts will say because the judiciary is independent. But on behalf of the government of Kenya, I would like to announce to the people of Kenya that in order for us to establish with accuracy the responsibility for these crimes, the investigations might take a little longer. The government has further revealed plans of a looming overhaul in the Interior Ministry to prevent any such calamity in future. Whose conduct or misconduct, whose action or inaction, whose omission or commission led us to this horrible event. For now, the exhumation exercise has been suspended, but search and rescue operation continue. Franklin Wala, K24 TV.